Hi everybody, this is Josh Rappaport with Singing Turtle Press and I'm delighted to bring you another video lesson today. And this is a video lesson that makes use of some information in the April newsletter, which is um, a, a device I call the Ladder of Prime. So if you read the newsletter, you'll know all about that and that'll help you out a little bit here. Okay, today's lesson is on finding the least common multiple, the LCM, for three or more numbers. Now this is something that you do need to do sometimes in math. For example, if you've got to add or subtract three fractions and they all have different denominators, it's really helpful to get the least common multiple for those three numbers and it's nice to have a quick easy way to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you, a quick easy way to get the least common multiple for three or more numbers. Now to start out there are a couple of primary concepts you need to know. Those are the concepts of prime numbers and composite numbers in addition to the ladder of primes that I mentioned. So I'm going to just go over those right now. Okay, what is a prime number? Well basically a prime number is a number with no factors I'm just going to use capital F for factors, no factors but one in itself. Okay, and I'll explain this in a moment here. All right, as an example, let's think about whether or not certain numbers are prime or composite. Composite are numbers that are not prime. Okay, let's take the number two. Okay, two has the factors of one and two because one times two makes two. That means that two is prime because nothing else goes into two, just one and two. Take the number three. What goes into three? Just one and three. That's it, so three is prime. Now take the number four. What goes into four? Well, one and four obviously goes in. One times four is four, but Four has the distinction that two times two also makes four. Therefore, four cannot claim to be prime. It is therefore composite. Okay, put a C for composite. Now the next number we're gonna look at is the number five. Okay, what, what factors make five? Just one and five, that's it. So five is prime. Let's jump up a little bit. Um, let's jump to nine, okay. Nine is an interesting number. What makes nine? Just one times nine, nope. There's also three times three, therefore nine is not prime, it is composite. And then let's look at 11. 11's a very interesting number, one and one there. What makes 11? Just one and 11, that is truly it. So one is indeed prime. Now what I like to have people do, because primes are so helpful, is make this little device I call the ladder of primes. What you do is you just write the first eight primes in a row, two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19. I would really suggest you pause your uh, recorder here and write this down and then you draw two lines on either side and you draw little rungs because it's like a ladder you can climb up and we'll be doing that. Now the numbers we're going to use this for are really just 2, 3, and 5 in the demonstration I'm going to give. So you don't have to worry about the others, you can just do the 2, 3, 5, but I just wanted to give you the idea of how this thing looks. Okay, that takes care of our preliminaries. Now we go on to the main part of the lesson. Okay, to do the next part of the lesson, we have to bring a couple of things in. This is to show what we're trying to find, the LCM of various numbers, and this is a little device that I've created that helps us do it. Okay, now what we're going to do is start out by finding the LCM for the three numbers 12, 18, and 20. By the way, I invite you to go ahead and uh, follow along making this little device here and writing out what we're doing. It really helps to learn by doing. I'm a big believer in that. And one other thing we need to write down is the ladder of primes. Now we're only going to use 2, 3, and 5 in these demonstrations I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to put in 2, 3, and 5 in our ladder and we'll be all set to go. All right. Here's how the process works. Essentially, we're going to be doing division. We put the numbers 12, 18, and 20 right in here, and we look at the bottom of the ladder of primes, such as a 2, and we ask ourselves, does 2 go into 2 or more of these numbers? Going into 1 isn't enough, but going into 2 or more is fine. All right, it turns out that 2, of course, goes into all three of these numbers, so we put the 2 on the side, and then what we're doing is division. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 12? That would be 6 times. How many times does 2 go into 18? That would be 9 times. And how many times does 2 go into 20? That would be 10 times. 
All right, so we've used two one time. Now, this often happens with a letter of primes. You can use something more than once. So we're going to now check to see if two goes into two or more of these numbers again. Well, two does not go into nine, but it does go into six and 10. That means we can use two a second time. All right, so now does two go into six? Yes, it goes in three times. Does two go into 10? Yes, it goes in five times. Does two go into nine? No. When a number over here on the left does not go into one of the numbers here, you just rewrite that number up above, okay? Now, does two still go into two or more of these numbers? Obviously not. That means we jump up from two to three on our ladder of primes. Now we're at three. So we asked, does three go into two or more of these numbers? It turns out that three does. It goes into three and nine. It goes into three one time. It goes into nine three times. Three does not go into five, and this is very important. When a number over here does not go into one of these numbers, but it goes into others, you just bring up the number that it does not go into. You leave it alone. Okay, now once again we ask if three goes into two or more of these numbers. It does not, and that means we jump up to five. Okay, so then the question is, does five go into two or more of these numbers? Five goes into five, but it doesn't go into one or three, obviously. So that means we're done. Once we hit that stage where one of these primes does not go into any of them, um, and all we're left with is numbers that nothing will go into, we are done. At that point, what we do is we take the three numbers on the left, and we write them down, three times two times two, and we multiply them out. Okay, three times two is six, six times two is 12. So we get a number, a product of 12 on the left side of the bar. Then we take the numbers that we're left with at the top row, very top row, and we multiply them. So we get one we don't have to write down, but three times five we'll write down. And what we have here is essentially 12 times 15, since three times five is 15. 12 times 15 is 180. And that, my friends, is the least common multiple for 12, 18, and 20. And you can check it out. 12 goes into eight, 180 15 times. 18 goes into 180 10 times, and 20 goes into 180 9 times. This is the smallest number that all three of these numbers goes into. So we have just found the LCM for three numbers. Now, there are some subtle differences that can occur when you do this. So I want to do a second demonstration where something a little bit different happens. It's fun to see the different situations that can occur. And now we're going to find the least common multiple for the numbers 12, 15, and 30. Okay, so here's what we're aiming for. So we write them down here, 12, 15, and 30. We're going to do this a little bit faster since you've seen the process once. So we start at the bottom of the letter of prime, so I'm going to be on the right side now. We're at 2. Does 2 go into 2 or more? Yes, it goes into 12 and 30. So we put the 2 down. It goes into 12 6 times. It goes into 30 15 times. 2 does not go into 15, therefore we just bring the 15 up. Okay, we're still on 2. Does 2 go into 2 or more of these numbers? The answer is no. That means we jump up to 3. Okay, does 3 go into 2 or more of these numbers? It turns out the answer is yes. 3 goes into all 3. It goes into 6 twice. It goes into 15 5 times. And of course, same thing here. It goes into 15 5 times. Now, we, we're still on 3. Does 3 go into... Th two or more of these numbers? The answer is no. That means we jump up to five. Okay, does five go into two or more of these numbers? The answer is yes. Five goes into five and five. It goes into five once. It goes into five once. It does not go into two. What do we do? We bring the two up. Now nothing can go into two, one, and one. Uh, nothing can go into one at all and two is prime. So we're done over here. We go through the same procedure. We write these numbers down. Two times three times five. That's 6 times 5, which is 30, is our product on the left side of the bar. Over here, all we've got is 2, 1, and 1. That's just 2, and we multiply it out. 30 times 2 is 60. So 60 is the least common multiple for 12, 15, and 30. And you can check that on your own, but you'll see that it's true. Okay. One more demonstration for um, a situation where something still a little different happens. Okay, this time we're going to use four numbers. Okay, so the four numbers we're going to look for the LCM for will be 10, 12, 15, and 18. 
nice, fairly small numbers, but still numbers that are going to have an interesting least common multiple. So we put those numbers down here, 10, 12, 15, and 18. We're also going to write down our ladder of primes to keep track of things. 2, 3, 5 is all we'll need here. Draw our side rails, our rungs, and we're good to start. Okay, we start at 2. Does 2 go into 2 or more of these numbers? Absolutely. It goes into 10 5 times. It goes into 12 6 times. It goes into 18 9 times. 4, 15 didn't get divided, but we bring 15 up. We cannot forget 15. Does 2 go into 2 or more of these numbers? No. We jump up to 3 now. Does 3 go into 2 or more of these numbers? The answer is yes. 3 goes into 6 twice. It goes into 15 5 times. It goes into 9 3 times. And of course we bring up our friend 5 here. Okay, we're still on 3. Does 3 go into 2 or more of these numbers? Well, it goes into 3, but not any of the other numbers. That means we are done with 3 and we jump up to 5. Does 5 go into 2 or more of these numbers? Yes. 5 goes into 5 and 5. It goes in once and once. We still have our 2 and our 3. And now can 5 go into these? No. You can see these numbers are smaller than 5. That means we're done. And we do the same thing. We multiply our numbers together. We've been getting this answer over here a number of times. 2 times 3 times 5 is 30 on the left side. And what's our top row this time? It's 1 times 2 times 1 times 3. That's just 2 times 3, which is 6. 30 times 6, 180. So the least common multiple for 10, 12, 15, and 18 turns out to be 180. You can check that on your own. You'll see it's true. The beauty of this technique, you can use it for however many numbers you want. But what you have to be careful about is this. Over on the left side here, you must use prime numbers. If you start using composite numbers, you start dividing by composite numbers, you're going to get the wrong answer. So you cannot do that. Always use primes, use the ladder of primes, and you'll be safe. Your answers will be correct. So that's the technique. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will have more lessons for you in the future. Thanks so much for watching.